Hi, my name is Simon Harris and I'm User Experience Manager for Green Hippo, developers of the award-winning range of Hippotizer media servers. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Hippotizer version 4, launched to the world this year for use on live events. Four brand new hardware models available with different output configurations based on your price point. Not only that, but a brand new engine and a brand new interface giving you access to the most commonly used functions at the top, but also the ability to go in and create your own control interface. The home screen that you see here is the first thing that greets you when you start up the application. And the six buttons across the top, as I say, give you access to all the things you're most regularly going to be doing. Starting with the mixes, we can access multiple layers, across multiple mixes, across multiple servers. Using our HippoNet networking functionality, we can connect multiple servers together when required for use on larger shows. Within each layer control, existing Hippotizer version 3 users will recognize the controls for media playback, geometry, color, effects, and more. Also, with the addition of cameras, generators, relays, and Screen Thief. I can easily switch between multiple layers on the system and control them like so. Next comes our viewports. In Hippotizer version 4, we natively support splitters. So when using an external splitting device, you can determine exactly what you want that output to do. Perhaps you want to spread a multiple output splitter across multiple projectors in the same way we could in version three. However, in version four, we have the added ability of being able to subdivide those outputs and give them their own set of layers. This allows the system to be far more functional, far more powerful at a much reduced cost. In your viewport window, you have access to color controls, effects, geometry, blending, and keystone, all across multiple mixes, multiple viewports, and multiple systems. Next, I'd like to show you the Visualizer, a very powerful feature built directly into the heart of Hippotizer version 4. Start by importing the most complex of models in many different file types, or of course, also being able to go in and create your own visualization with no 3D models at all. In here, we have a very complex stage with video mapped to each of the screens within it. And using these presets, I can move around within the space to give you an accurate look at your show. Very important to understand that this is a full frame rate, full resolution preview. So it really gives you a fantastic idea of exactly how the video is going to look within your show environment. Not only can we create these presets, we can also go in and create our own animation. And in the future, you'll be able to export this animation as a video, send it off to your prospective client to show them your design. And next, we come to media management. Some subtle but very important changes to be found in Hippotizer version 4. Firstly, access to all of the servers on the network to stop you having to go in and out of menus in order to encode media and synchronize media between systems. In Hippotizer version 4, our media management looks across the network and allows you to access any of the servers and any of the folders within. I can view my media in thumbnails, a list view, or access my settings. Another welcome addition to the Hippotizer version 4 family is the option to choose between multiple codecs. Our existing MPEG-2 codec is still supported. However, we also now have three types of our own proprietary FlexRes codec. One aimed at performance for playing multiple layers of video content across multiple outputs if necessary. A high performance codec aimed at very, very high quality playback and the original FlexRes codec that we developed for massively high quality content with full alpha transparency support. We have upgraded the synchronization in Hippotizer version 4, not only allowing you to synchronize between systems, but also to create sync groups, allowing the systems to automatically synchronize media between them based on your own specifications. Our watch folder functionality has been improved. Not only can we view 
and monitor a folder sitting on the network, automatically encoding media into the system. But the watch folder now supports image sequences as well. So not just supporting the importing of video, but also being able to monitor and look for image sequences and import those into the system. And finally, a brand new concept for Hypnotizer version 4 is Strata. Being able to move your show quickly and easily between systems using the SSD drives on the front of the system. Output management is one of the most powerful features in the Hypnotizer version 4 range. With numerous outputs on all of the systems and numerous splitters available with all, we now have much greater access over how the system is configured. We can create multiple mixes, each with multiple layers, and determine exactly where those mixes are going to be sent. In this example, I have one 4K mix being sent to the screens behind, but I have two further mixes not being connected to an output at all. And you saw me earlier using those inside the pre-visualization state. A very powerful feature of Hypnotizer version 4 is the ability to choose whether your mix is being output to screen or only used internally in the system. You could also use this technique to pre-mix camera inputs coming into the software. You could even create your own local monitoring system for accessing those camera inputs. You really have to use the system to understand the benefits of Output Manager. So please take up the opportunity and have a go with the system as soon as you can. Finally, configuration. And again, we want to improve the workflow for all of the Hypnotizer technicians out there in the world using our systems. Especially when it comes to setting up a network of multiple servers, going in and out of menus can be a very frustrating use of time. So to make the workflow more efficient, you now have access to all of the servers down the left-hand side and all of the settings inside, allowing me to quickly move between servers and between different settings sections and get my network of servers up and running exactly based on my requirements. We have access to the host information, to the network settings, and statistics and diagnostics. Again, setting up a multiple network base of servers is quick and easy. I'd like to finish off by showing you how quick and easy it is to go in and create your own custom interface. Start by selecting the first available slot, and again, to present yourself with a custom pin board. I can access the network here at the bottom left-hand corner of the system. I will be presented with all of the servers on the network. Open up the server, you have access to the component. And for this example, I'm going to quickly add some of the engine controls from the very first mix. Here I'm presented with my layers. And now I can quickly and easily drag each of the controls directly to the interface like so. Once I've done so, I can close the HippoNet button. And if I unlock the interface with the padlock in the bottom left-hand corner, I can easily resize or reposition where my controls sit within the interface. When I'm happy with my design, simply lock the interface again. And when you return to the home screen, a snapshot of the interface will be created so you can always remember exactly which interface control you have created. That concludes my introduction to Hypnotizer version 4. If you wish to find out more about the system, please check back in the new year when we will have in-depth video training tutorials available on our website, hypnotizer.com. Alternatively, please contact your local distributor for more information. Thank you and goodbye.